Hey everyone and happy Friday. So today is one of those days that's disappearing before my very eyes. So I've got quite a lot done but I just feel like I haven't if that makes any sense. I've done a load of filming this morning. As you can see there I need to pack away the lights and everything and I've also finished editing the next vlog then I need to edit the next vlog for this channel. Um, so it's all going on and I'm just putting on some laundry. I can't remember if I mentioned that the washer dryer is fixed um, but it is good it doesn't work quite in the same way as the one we used to have though and my deepest fears have been realized i have had to buy an iron i'm just going to put it out there i don't iron <laughs> because either i find if you wash the clothes and hang them on hangers right away then they don't need ironing or if you tumble dry them then they and ian's shirts are all like easy care shirts then they also don't need ironing so i just don't have an iron but this new washer dryer um it either there's two things that happen one when you do the wash and dry cycle it comes out still damp and then you have to hang everything anyway or if you put it on a different dry cycle it comes out creased so <sighs> either of those things are not good but i don't want clothes hanging all around the house on hangers that's why we bought a washer dryer because we used to have that happen all the time we didn't have a dryer and i hated having clothes all over the place so i'm gonna have to just suck it up and do some ironing which is a total bummer but never mind so i bought a new iron and um i've got some to do this evening and ian's parents are coming this weekend so we need to get everything straightened out and tidied up because we still have the odd thing here and there from when we moved in that we still haven't like put away and tidied up and stuff like that but right now i am going to have some lunch i'm probably going to have a pot noodle really bad i'm still using my fitness pal so i'm going to have to put it in but yeah i just need to obviously do something quickly because i've still got a lot to do today okay i've just sat you guys in a cupboard so i can talk to you while i get on with stuff so another thing that is really really starting to wind me up i've been trying to call my consultant i think i might have told you uh, previously in this vlog to find out something about my medication basically i think i should have stopped the steroid treatment by now the steroid treatment is what is giving me the swollen face and everything else and there's loads of other side effects and i just want them finished i am in more discomfort since they've been tapering down but i'm willing to deal with that i just don't want them anymore and from what i could gather when we originally uh, were in the hospital and i was told that i was being put on them is that i was taking them for five months and they would be finishing right at the beginning of the new year which i think was around the fourth of january maybe even like the first i don't know something like that and when i read the piece of paper they gave me it's not clear it says continue as if maybe you're supposed to still be taking them i don't know so i've been trying to call the consultant and it is like trying to get through to the prime minister i have called i've got the secretary several times and in fairness to her she did call me back at first but now i've been leaving messages and i'm just not hearing anything and it's really frustrating all i need to know is do i stop them or do i not it's not a complicated question i don't need to see the doctor again until my next follow-up in april i just really need to know and i just hate when you keep leaving messages and nobody calls you back so that is super annoying and this is another thing that's been driving me crazy i need to sort out this is my platform nine and three quarters um thing that ian bought me and we want to put it up the other day i was cleaning something and a piece of tissue brushed across it and because it's um, wooden it's obviously caught all of these little pieces of tissue i'm gonna have to get tweezers to get them out so annoying but i do need to sort that out because we want to be able to put this up <laughs> so <Are> you <laughs> So Ian is off to squash and he is wearing his overcoat over his squash gear and then with skate trainers because he's got to walk to the car, he has his squash shoes. <laughs> Tori is making fun of me, but I'm trying to be healthy it, no, and do exercise. Oh, it's amazing that you're going to squash, it's just a really like super funny look and it's freezing outside so... Well, that's why I've got the big coat because I've got to yeah. walk to the car. So. Oh gosh, yeah that's another thing, we never resolve the parking situation. I think I told you guys there's no parking for these flats, so basically we have to park our car a couple of streets away because everything else is permit parking, so every time Ian needs to go to the car he has to walk there, it does suck real bad. Bye! So it's seven o'clock now, I'm just waiting for Ian to get back from playing squash and I'm just about to start dinner. I'm just going to show you what I mean about our washer dryer. So this, is it drying and can you kind of hear that it's barely making any sound? And that's a good thing, obviously you don't want it to be really loud, especially since our kitchen is in the 
living room. Obviously, it makes that kind of whirring noise every now and again, but what you can hear right now is it drying. So I kind of wonder like how well it dries. So let me know in the comments if anybody has a washer dryer in one and let me know if you have problems with like stuff still coming out wet or coming out really creased because we're having both problems right now. And I just have to show you this. I got this the other day. It is a spud dude. I needed a new peeler and obviously I couldn't get a sensible one. I had to get this guy. So we are putting up our first picture and when Ian went to uh, Wix to find some stuff, they gave us these. Oh, it's not focusing which apparently just push into the wall yeah. and we're not entirely sure that this seems legit so they've got two little spiky bits you push that into the wall and then it apparently takes eight kilos of weight and we did tell them that we live in a new building which has um frankly thin walls as all new builds do in the uk so we're just gonna see i'm worried that we're gonna ha end up with an enormous hole in the wall <laughs> and still know where to hang our picture you just <laughs> See, I really didn't think no. that this was. I wonder if you get a hammer. If I just tap it in with a hammer, I think it'd be okay. Maybe if you would. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. I'm feeling a bit dubious about this, I'll be honest. Well, we're gonna have to plaster some of these. Just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, trash is coming to life. Right, just be really careful because I'm having a horrible feeling here. Okay. Oh, that is, I'm really surprised by that. But, <laughs> is it gonna come back out again? Okay. That is surprising. Wow. I'm gonna go back over here and see if it's straight. That, I think, is okay. Good morning and happy Sunday. So, we didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I always try and vlog on the weekends, but um, Ian's parents are here for the weekend, and we just kind of hung out and went for dinner and stuff. And today, we are going to brunch. So, the weather is absolutely atrocious, as you'll see in a minute. It is raining so bad at the moment, and it has been, like, most days. Um, so we're gonna go do that. I will obviously vlog some of that. I just wanted to tell you about something really, really weird that happened last night. So we were watching a movie, which I forget what it was called. Ian might remember. Gerald's Game. Yeah. It's based on a Stephen King book, I think. Yeah. And I was only half watching. It's not really my sort of thing. But basically, I'm not gonna go into it, but there is a creepy guy who she keeps seeing in the dark. So let's just put, leave that at that. So we watched the movie went to go to bed and I went to go in the spare bedroom because I needed to get something out of there. Oh, sorry, and now I'm in creepy lighting. So let me just show you the wall. So outside of our spare bedroom window, as you can see, it is just a brick wall. And if I get a bit closer, this is literally the um, pavement here. So I'll show you what happened. <laughs> so picture the fact that it's dark. I come down here, fling the door open switch the light on and there is somebody there literally staring into the flat and so i kind of i was like taken aback i went to kind of come in and get what i was going to get and realized he was just staring in here and it really freaked me out and i went and got ian and was just like there's someone staring in the window and you went and had a look didn't you and he was still kind of yeah. there just looking in so we were like should we be worried about this what is he doing why is he staring in here and on saturday nights obviously people do kind of i don't know people have been out drinking and stuff lurk around a bit more than normal so i wasn't necessarily worried that he was i don't know doing anything sinister but it really scared me because obviously we just watched this movie with someone who keeps popping up and then i turn the light on and there's someone staring in anyway um we kind of like debated what to do and then eventually we went back and looked and he was gone so i think it was probably fine but it was weird wasn't it yeah 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 it was really creepy so that kind of freaked me out and I had another uncomfortable night as well. I think I really um, really look forward to going to the doctors, but I am looking forward to going to my appointment next week to discuss the possibility of maybe changing my medication a bit. Maybe there's something different I can have um, just to make myself a bit more comfortable because I am struggling a little bit lately. And as you know, I don't like that. I don't like anything that slows me down. So yeah, hopefully we can get something sorted with that. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting for Ian's parents to come over. We'll probably have a, a cup of tea and stuff and then head off to brunch. I'm not looking forward to going outside in this weather though, I will say. It is bad. Mm -hmm. 